Hello ladies, it's Kay back again um, with a little something different as I choose to call it. Um, I have been working with some goodies from Handy Hippo Craft site and would like to share what I've done with you. Um, primarily it's amounted to some very beautiful things falling in through my letterbox which I'm about to show you and share with you. One being this authentic paper stack which is 6x6. Six six. Um, it's a relatively new range, it's not one I've encountered personally before and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a good quality paper some of the sheets are, although not all of them, are actually double sided. You have a break off point here in the seam so you're not actually, as you do in some paper stacks, running the risk of damaging the um, piece of card that you want to work with. This is the uh, Pretty in Pink, I believe, and it's got coordinating, yes, Classic Pretty but it is primarily pinks. Um, I'll just run through a few of the pages with you. Some, as I say, are double-sided. This is double-sided. It's got a, a nice pattern on the back in grey. The uh, dog tooth design, which is then black stripe. A tartan effect, which is black on the back. This glorious lace effect, which is plain pink, and so on and so forth. It's a very versatile little pad. It's got some really lovely, lovely papers in it, as I'm sure you can see. And what I've done is put together some cards for you to look at. And there's even this tag on the back of the pad that you are fully able to cut out and use on a project, which is an added bonus. They do different sized pads on the site and different themed pads. They are all extremely reasonable for, for the quality that they are. This 6x6 actually is £5.75 and bearing in mind that so many of the papers are double sided I think that is an absolutely outrageous price for what it is because they really are a very good quality paper and you don't have to worry about adding adhesives and it shrinking or wrinkling as it dries. It stands the test. I was also provided with this beautiful, um, I'm just looking at the name here, woven edge tying ribbon. And it's the Italian options mix, 15 millimeter, and you get a whole reel at 20 meters approximately. What I like about this ribbon, as I'm sure you'll be able to see, is it's edged. Not wide edging, but it is a finished edge, which means you can actually put quite a bit of tension on it. I'm hoping you can see that I'm actually being quite tough with this. You don't get any splitting in the ribbons. In the past I have had organza ribbons and you cut them or you stretch them, tie them into a bow, wrap them around something and you almost get a break in the fibres and it looks really, really poor. So at 395 for 20 metres and there is a huge colour range in it. I think this is exceptionally good value. Um, anything that can withstand being pulled around and really given a bit of rough treatment in, in the course of crafting stands up to its own. It's beautiful to work with. It's got a lovely typical organza sheen to it. Um, delightful and that fits in beautifully as you can see with the paper pad. I was also given these candy shop deco dots and basically what it is 
are the, I'm hoping you're not getting any glare. Let me just take it out of the pack. Um, what it is are these self-adhesive little dots. They're about 8mm in size, but if you look at them, they've almost been diamond cut. So you've got lines going down, which are highly polished, and then this frosting in between the lines that makes it look really, really pretty. And I have those in black and in the pink, and they are really delightful to work with. In this heat, I have to be honest and tell you that the sticky bit on the back is not perhaps as sticky as one would like it to be, but that's easily remedied. I mean, we've all got adhesives and things that we can just pull out of a drawer somewhere and use. Um, it's glue dots, I think, and, and the hot weather is, is not keep, keeping them as, as strong as perhaps you would like them to be when you put them on onto your projects. So a little bit of double indemnity, a little bit of glue, and you've got some really, really pretty embellishments, delicate embellishments for your projects. Then I was given this wonderful memory box die and I have to tell you I am an avid fan and always have been of memory box. The detail is superb. I don't know if you can pick up on the actual um, die there and I will try and show you on one that I've actually cut out already. At the bottom, the detail is superb. At the bottom of the stand is a wrinkled edge that just looks as though it's been um, uh, decorated in, in a swirl affair going all the way around the base even down to the little wheels on the stand. I don't know how, how tall it is, I guess I should have measured it for you, but there are two on Handy Hippo's site. This it comes under the tall dress form and then there's a more standardised dress form. The only difference being the, the length of the stand that it actually sits on. But it cuts superbly, you've got no issues with getting it out of the die. It just comes out beautifully with no problems. Should you use a card that is extra, extra thick, you've got the holes as indicated here that just allow you to prick through and keep the die cut safe. That one is 6 95 but that is very much in keeping with um, memory box dies as a whole. They really are very, very superior. I love them. They also came with it some um, tags that fit in with this pad. I've looked back on the site and I don't see any more of them, but basically it's wording, um, it's little areas that you can write on, there are sentiments there, and it just is all colour coordinated to the paper stack, so that is absolutely ideal. If you're just starting out and all you want to do basically is get on with making some cards for example or something of that nature, everything you need is in those two um, aspects of, of what you've bought. The sentiment stamps are beautifully die cut, they're quite thick, they're not chipboard standard but it is a good quality card. They are backed so supposing you didn't like to use the front of it you can always turn it over, add your own sentiment or stamp. You've got that facility to alter what is right in front of you. And here are the cards I used. It's Paper Mania another good company for this kind of thing and it was a pack of 10 cards I don't know what the GSM is on the card and I haven't got the label with me so I do apologise ladies but it is a good quality card you can see the thickness of it 
it's not flimsy, it will let itself be manipulated and manoeuvred to, to within reason. There is no breakage on the spine where the spines have been scored that you get with some of the cheaper card packs, I have to say. And with the 10 pack of cards, of course, you are supplied with envelopes and they're good quality envelopes. Again, there's nothing um, bendy or whippy with the paper. It's a good quality paper, all gummed up around. You couldn't ask for more, really. And those are, again, variable in size. This is a almost a 6x6 six six square. There are other sizes available. There are DL, um, the, the long, tall cards different sizes in the square cards, really anything you care to mention, you will probably find on Handy Hippo's Craft site. Um, what I've done is made a selection of cards from the items that I've just shown you. Um, I'd like to say at the outset, they are not fanciful cards. They are not full of embellishments. I would like to think I haven't made anything that is intimidating or awe-inspiring to people that would quite like to take up card making as, as an extra string to their bow. So I've kept them relatively simple. Um, I would like to think anybody, having seen this, could go out with a little bit of help from their own personal stash. They could put together a set of cards that would, they would be very pleased with. This is the first card I made, and it's an easel card. I just pinched a little bit of card from my stash. Whilst I like this um, abstract and heart selection on this paper, it is a bit dark and I wanted to be able to lift it a little bit. There is a sentiment here, confidence, wear it like makeup, which is a lovely message to send out to perhaps a young girl who, who is just coming into her teens and maybe a wee bit shy or what have you. I just thought that was very appropriate. A few flowers, a little bit of pink burlap, a couple of pearl doodads and there is the first card. Then I went on to make this one which is just a square of paper from the pad measured slightly smaller than the size of the card which I then cut to the diagonal. I On the back of this card it's this green so I flipped it cut it out, cut out this little speech bubble if you like and your special because punched out some flowers from the residual of the sheet added a little bit of blingy embellishment and also made this little flower with the pink embellishment there again it's very very girly but for a young girl perhaps that's just coming up to 14 or 15 who might like a little bit of something a bit, well, 14 or 15, 12 or 13, I guess, who might like a little bit of something a bit more grown up, would appreciate that, I'm sure. And then for the ladies, or a teenager again, I used the pink lace paper that I showed you from the pad. Here are the deco buttons, just to embellish the um, dress form. And here it says brains, beauty and bows. So I added the little organza ribbon bow there, as you can see. Punched out some little flowers from the card that I used, from the papers I used to make the card. And that one came together quite nicely. So put that one under there. Um, this one I think would definitely be for an older lady. And what I did, I used a, a standard die frame, wrapped some of the organza ribbon around the frame, used the dress form again, a couple of little flowers just to add some interest. The paper again is from the stack. I just punched down each of the sides very simply 
and then put the black of the deco dots and just a flat back pearl just to lift it so that it didn't get too um, flat and give it a bit of interest. So that's that one, I'll bring that one back. The next one I made I think would suit all occasions. Um, from the Handy Hippo site I actually purchased, because it was such a good price, the Tim Holtz Tattered Flower. I'd been looking for it for a while and came across it on the site and just had to have it, as, as you do. Um, because they've got all these wonderful dyes on there from the leading companies. Um, so I cut out the flower using two pieces of paper from the stack that I thought went together quite well. Already laid this down as a background, which is a bit plain, but I thought the flower and the embellishments would lift it. Punched the corners, added a little bit of glitter, a couple of little pearly extras to finish it off made this little bow embellishment at the bottom of the card and I felt that came out quite nicely. That would suit any age group, I think, you know, as a thank you or a thinking of you or a get well. It's just bright, cheerful and a nice little card, very easy to make. The last one that I'm going to show you this evening is probably the, the more complicated of the cards that I've done. If anybody would like a tutorial on this card, then I will quite happily, at some point in the not too distance, show you how to make this card. It is very, very simple. It looks a lot more than it actually is. I've used the flower paper stack. I've used a little bit of mirror card at the back there just to throw the decorative paper right out there cut out this um, square from the centre of the paper, having established how large the sentiment was that I wanted to use. I then folded back, put brads in to the, the paper just to hold that back out of the way, finished off the organza ribbon with a little bow here and a flower and a little bit of glitter in the centre and I think that would be an acceptable card to send to a friend or someone that you were quite close to and I think it would be received quite well. So those are the cards that I've made using the pad, the die cut, everything that I showed you at the start of the video and you can see I've made six cards there and I still have all of these sheets left, a lot more of the candy left, the ribbon left, um, as I said there are lots and lots of paper stacks on Handy Hippo Crafts at a very reasonable price. I'd like to share one more with you that I purchased myself and it's from the Wild Rose Studio. It's a 6x6, six six, which I'll just take out of the packaging. And it's titled Letters from Paris. And these are not in a, in a, um, a pack like the Authentique, but they are absolutely exquisite. It's loose leaf pages, Eiffel Tower, stamps. It, it just is absolutely adorable. These paper packs are so worth investigating, ladies. I know you can say, oh, well, we can go into the shops and we can buy what we want, da 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 da, but there's nothing like buying something online, having it delivered to your door. Handy Hippo do have an array of excellent products. They are dealing currently in boxes to alter, collage frames, the cellophane bags for putting your cards into, embellishments, floral embellishments. They have at the, on the home page um, a top 
identifier, I'm losing my words here, but it's, it's little tags that tell you the sections that you can enter into. Card making, stamping, uh, craft supplies, Christmas, wedding DIY and specials. And what is good about all of these tags is that every department also presents you with clearance first. So if you're looking for something in particular, don't be put off by looking straight into what you feel you want when you can find it with up to 70% off in the clearance if it's something that has gone into the clearance zone. I can't recommend the, the, the site highly enough ladies. I'm buying from it, I'm having these goodies sent to me from it. Um, the postage is very, very reasonable as I've already said and as yet I've not been disappointed with anything that I bought. I also bought this beautiful tonic dye. I've not opened it yet and it's a star effect um, circle and this one was under six pounds ladies and tonic is rapidly up and coming they are I would say a, in a good place to be in competition with the memory box the detail on them is absolutely exquisite but do check out the dies I know eBay sometimes you're lucky enough to perhaps find something that suits your needs at a reasonable price but this is brand new you can be assured of it the quality is there and the prices are comparable if not better than a lot of the places that i've shopped from previously so i hope this has been helpful to you if as I said, anybody is interested in making this card particularly, if you would care to actually leave a comment under the video, I will quite happily come back and just give you a little tutorial on how to go about making this lovely little card. Thank you very much for your time ladies, I do appreciate it. I hope again I've sparked your interest and that you feel you might like to check out ha ha Happy Hippo, Handy Hippo Crafts, sorry, and just see the bargains you can find there. Thank you very much. Take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye bye.